Right, this is the cool board, which is something I've just thought of, okay? Perfectly simple, we've divided a range of cars into four categories. Seriously uncool, that would be the Chrysler PT Cruiser and the Volkswagen Beetle. Uncool, various stuff, lots of Vauxhalls and Fords and so on. Cool, well, I mean the Range Rover, obviously, and the Citroen C3. And then Sub-Zero, that's absolutely freezing, and we've got the Vanquish in that category. Um, now, this has got nothing at all to do with what the car looks like or how it drives. It's only to do with how cool it is. And this Jeep Wrangler is a classic case in point, OK? I've got to be a bit careful here because it belongs to uh, James over there, who's one of our camera operators. Now, I'm a sorry, mate, it's hideous. <laughs> it's a horrible car to drive, and you've made it worse by jacking it up. <laughs> And you can stop laughing because you've got a Porsche Boxster. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I don't care because I've had a new idea while we've been off the air. And it's this. It's the Top Gear Love and Hate Board. The love section's already full. Kristen Scott Thomas and Terry Thomas, full of Thomases. It's this bit we're most interested in. This is the hate section. It's things we hate, like stereos that have a chummy greeting when you turn them on. Why? Why does he have to say hello? I just wanted to play Terry Wogan. Other things we hate, obviously, paddle shifts, semi, those semi-automatic gearboxes like Formula One, uh, personalised registration plates. Yes, we really hate those. Would I buy a diesel car? No. And I can explain why. Volkswagen Golf, OK? Petrol engine, European chic, goes into my cool wall, which we introduced last week in the cool section. Volkswagen Golf diesel. Identical car except for the engine. Where does it go? Uncool, because it marks you out as a cheapskate. <laughs> Here we go, the Saab we looked at earlier. Now, Saabs, I know they've gone all conventional. I know it runs on a Vauxhall Vectra platform, and yet somehow telling people you've got a Saab, quite cool. So it goes there and... Oh, I'm sorry, I don't think I've explained. This isn't a debate. <laughs> I tell you where things go. I am the judge here. Unless, of course, he's got a diesel engine, which Saab are now doing, in which case it goes there. Happy now? I was talking the other day to a guy from Ford. I don't know who he was, wore a suit, had biscuits in meetings. Anyway, he said 80% of these are going to be sold to women. So who's going to buy the other 20%? <laughs> So, what does a bloke do if he wants to buy a two-seater open-top sports car? He does what he's been doing for the last 14 years and buys a Mazda MX-5. Anyway, the cool wall. Where do these cars go? And remember, this is nothing to do with dodgy gearboxes or value for money. It's just how cool we think the cars are. First of all, the VW Beetle convertible. Now, that is undeniably, I say, a cool car. As long yeah. as you don't mind looking like an alien. Oh, put it higher than that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> No, up there. No, actually, I tell you what, move it into uncool. Um, I kind of like it there, personally. Oh, OK. <clears throat> um, the streetcar. Well, yeah, it is very much not a car for a bloke, but nevertheless, it is a cool car. We all agreed on that? Yeah. yeah. We all agreed it's cool. Right, the cool wall, crucial point. Uh, where's it going to go? Now, black XJR... Where is it going? I think we've kind of proven... Cool? Is, yeah. yeah. Do you know, I think... I think it's bordering on super. So I, th I think it could be so super. A black sub -zero XJR. Like, it's there. Mm, it's there. Jeremy, it's also <laughs> getting higher. I'm not even going to go there this week. I can't be bothered. Then the rest of the range mm. does have a problem. I, uh, can you do it for us? <laughs> it's not exactly like that. <laughs> Isn't that uncanny? <laughs> that is incredible, Jeremy. <laughs> that is the most. Isn't that a dreadful grill? It is a disaster. Just say well. yes, Jeremy. I have found a dealer who, for 250 quid, that's uh, 250 quid, will put you the XJR grill on any XJ. Really? That, that kind yes. of admits it's wrong, but I reckon if it's got that standard grill on, I'm afraid, with the Jeremy's face grill on it, that's, um, that's uncool. Sorry, just such a small thing spoils it. Exactly. Now, would you buy the Jag in preference to anything else? Um, yeah, I'm a Jag man, yes. Yeah, so would I. You? Well, I definitely wouldn't buy the 7 Series BM. No, it's too ugly. Audi A8 isn't quite there yet. S-Class Mercedes... Merchant banker. <laughs> Merchant banker, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> very much a merchant banker's car. So, yeah, I would have the Jag. Glad you're here. This is a good game, cos it really works, and some of them really aren't that obvious, like that thing. For instance, the Hyundai Coupe. That's a really good car. But it's, it's a Hyundai. It's uncool. And um, we've got... Oh, God, there's a, the Honda Civic Type R. Fantastic car to drive. It's uncool, you can't deny it. Audi A2. Dreadful, dreadful car. It wobbles when you yeah. turn the windscreen wiper on. <laughs> it doesn't rock from some... Horrible, but somehow quite cool. And Can I like... just pull up your boyish enthusiasm here, though, Jeremy, for this idea of what you've just thought up? But it was really nice of you to consult nobody at all. He just merrily sticks pictures on and makes his own that I'm right. That's the important yeah, thing. Yeah, well, there's a couple of things right. here. I noticed <laughs> under uncool. That's a Ferrari 360, Jeremy. That's a big Fiat. It's a Ferrari, it's cool. <laughs> Back me up. Is that not a cool car? If you think it's cool. Hands up if you think it's uncool. Ah, you now, see? hands up if you think it's cool. All right, thank you. All of which brings us to the cool board. Where does the rolls go? Well, right now it has been properly tar butt with the Savile brush, and that means it can only be uncool, I'm afraid. But I'm going to put this proviso on it. It's going to stay there until the first time I open my copy of Heat magazine and I see one of these pulling up outside a nightclub and a member of ACDC falling out of the back into a pool of his own sick. <laughs> <laughs> then it's going to go from there straight to there. It'll never happen. It'll never happen. Sadly, no rock star will ever buy the Rolls Royce. It's too big to fit in a swimming pool. <laughs> I have to say, actually, this cool wall has caused an absolute furore. We have had 20,000 emails about it. 20,000, and all day long, all the people here have been going, Ooh, what did you put that there for? And I've got a microphone here so we can hit people with it. <laughs> you, what do you want moving? The MX-5 and the MGTF. You want to switch an MX-5 with a... MGTF. Anyone else got any thoughts? What was yours earlier? Aston Martin, I would put down into the uncool on, on the basis of build quality and it's not value for money, it's too much Ford. You are such an idiot. <laughs> this is the coolest car. Uh, there's a couple more I have got to stick up here. Mitsubishi Evo 8, we looked at earlier. Where's it go? <laughs> subcool. Wrong, you see. Why is it subcool? It's just a proper car, it's a fast car and it handles well. Yeah, but you see, that's got nothing to do with coolness. You know, it's like having ginger hair. Um, <laughs> anyone else got any thoughts on it? <laughs> uncool. You see, the chap over there, he says he's uncool, he's kind of right. The thing is, it's very gender specific. If yeah. you're a man, it's really uncool to have this car. If you're a woman, it's fantastic. It's funny that, but We want to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> so it kind of goes there, as yeah. does exactly the same story with the Subaru. Yeah. Uh, put that there, right in the middle with the uh, F60. Enzo. You see, it's funny, it's the way of the cool wall. That's how it works. You know the other thing about the Forester? Sure. Subaru always, always win those reliability surveys. That's true, absolutely. So you've got that in its favour and the fact that it'll do everything you want for the family. It is very quick and it won't fall over like a tall 4x4. Four four. Exactly. Fantastic. And, best thing of all, here's a photograph. It goes in the cool section oh, yes, of it does. our board. Yeah, cool car. What do you mean no? Wrong. Hold on. Have you seen the interior? Yes. Well, it's bland and boring and dull. He just hasn't got the idea of this at all. What is he an interior designer, maybe? That's exactly. Not the point. Lauren Swell in Bowen without the cuffs. It's <laughs> cool. You missed it. The Z3. Yes. Okay. We all agree. Uncool. Really uncool. Very uncool. No denying that. But you say the new Z4. We have to put it down there actually because all BMWs are uncool. X5 in particular. Oh, it's very uncool. <laughs> Particularly when they've got drug dealer wheels like this one. Aren't they? <laughs> Really uncool man in pink shirt who has one. Range Rover, on the other hand, fantastic Very car. Cool. You bought the wrong one. Sorry. Um, but you say anyway, the Z4. That's a cool car. It's more muscular, it's got presence. You could go anywhere in that. It's a cool car. Right, fair enough. First BMW since about 1976 that makes it into the cool category. Now, I was thinking the other day about stuff that I hate. And I came up with a list. Ooh, a man can never have too many lists. Exactly. So I made up a list of my top five. Worst cars ever. That's a good one. It is a good one. Oh, it's a good worst car it's ever. It's a good poser. Well, here's my list, okay? Mm -hmm. In fifth place is the AMC Pacer. Yeah. Look at that. 
What a moose. Ooh, that is a moose. Isn't, interestingly, the doors on opposite sides aren't even the same length. And number four is the peel. <laughs> <laughs> what was particularly good about the peel is it only had one headlamp. It did. So if you're driving down a road and you saw one coming toward you, you think, that's oh, a motorbike. <laughs> it's a car! Uh, in third place, are we at now? Yeah, the Vauxhall Vectra. Obviously. Yeah. I said. In second place, the Suzuki X90. <laughs> I remember road testing that on old Top Gear and we filmed it all at night because I didn't <laughs> want people to see me in it. Absolutely. Mm. Fearsome thing. In first place, mm. well, it's a big question, this. My worst car ever. And I got to think, what, what are we actually looking for? Well, some like drizzle, really. The, the car equivalent of drizzle. No, because there's something happening. When it's drizzling, there's something going on. We're looking for worse than that. It's like those days when you open the door and you walk out, and there is no weather. There is only one car that can manage that, and it's this. The <laughs> Nissan Sony. <laughs> I don't know where to start. I mean, there are uglier cars, and there are worse cars to drive. Who was complaining about the Ford Ka? You were. Why were you complaining about the Ford Ka? It's just good. It, it, you, there's nothing you can say about it apart from, look at it, it's a good car. You've turned up with 86 earrings and you're telling us that's a brilliant <laughs> car. My case rests. Oh, he's looking angry. <laughs> I mean, I like earrings. You know, I drive an SL, OK? I'm gay, as it turns out. <laughs> um, anyway, where was I? Completely forgot. Oh, diesels. The point is um, that if you have a diesel, it marks you out as being mean, and that's why they're in uncool. The end. Feel better for that, dear. Yeah, a bit of a moment. It's really have to... Don't upset the bloke in the earrings. No, I don't expect that. You carry on, but just carry on. Right. I'll just go that way. TVR. Cool. Cool. No, again, cool. you're wrong. Uncool. And I'll explain why, if I may, OK? TVRs, as we know, yeah. they're for men whose trousers are creeping up a bit. You know the time of life? <laughs> About there. Time of life. The gap between the nipple and the waistband yes. is just no. starting to come down a little bit. So I'm afraid that's why it's uncool. Anyone else got any objections to that? Yeah, you again. <laughs> Who is it now? <laughs> Look at it, it's lovely. You can't say that's uncool, and it comes in yellow. What? <laughs> <laughs> what is a soda bananas? So, <laughs> I mean, what? Everything yellow is cool. No, it's not. Talking of yellow, <laughs> where do we put this? It's and a it's polo. Cool. Oh. It's cool. No, no that's a cool car. car. Wrong, 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 cool car. Euro chic. Euro chic. <laughs> Don't take Agree it, with me. It's cool. Thank you. Thank what you very cool. What do you drive? Jeep Wrangler Sport, but I did have a polo before. Jeep Wranglers are dreadful cars, but yep. cool. See, that is what we keep trying to explain, isn't it? It doesn't matter what they're like to drive or look at, it's whether they're cool or, or not. Or what colour they are. Exactly. Yeah, no. Forget colour. Look, you see, you've got your Fiat Punta, you've got your Golf, as long as it's a petrol, obviously. Anything little in European, Citroen C3 goes in the cool section. Are you sure about the M3? It's just, I've wandered past and there it is, and I'm just, I still part me thinks that's the wrong place. I, what do you reckon, M3? Is that cool or not? The only way to put that is down. <laughs> I can't. I'm really leave not convinced. It, please Come, leave I'm... the M3 down there, really. It's a great car, make no mistake. Now, this is a case in point, Fiat Multipla. That's a really good one, because... It, well, it's what ugly, you know? hang on. It's, it's ugly, yes, but it's cool. It's definitely cool. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. It's going in the cool bit. <laughs> I'm with you on that one. I'm with you on that. Lexus. I'm not ah. taking any trot on that. I'm right, again. <laughs> Lexus IS200, OK? Was a cool car. Alan Partridge has got one. Not cool anymore. Oh, cool. <laughs> Sorry, Lexus. He's wrecked it. How oh, do I make that stick on there? There we are, on there. Now, this one, so uncool. Look, we're going to have to stick it. Will it stick in there? Yes, oh, it sticks yes. <laughs> it's really cool. It's found its home. Audi TT. Well, it was. 
Too many? Precisely. Yeah. That's why, excuse me, the Volkswagen Beetles down here got launched. We then had to wait a year for it to arrive. If you're going to make a car a fashion statement, which they have, get it out now. And the same thing with this. It started here. And it's moved along. And we think that right now, mm. it's here. And if you want one, you've got 20 minutes, OK? Because in 20 minutes, it's going to be here. OK? Um, got a bit of housekeeping to do on the cool wall. We had Anne Robinson here uh, last week. And she said it's silly that the TT is this far down, because it's a cool car and he's moving up. So, there we are. <laughs> She's not here. Exactly. I wasn't <laughs> going to do it when she was. Uh, I've got one here, Joe. We've, we've actually had an omission. There's something missing off the cool wall, and it's this, which is the Mercedes SL55 AMG. Mm, uh, what a car. Jeremy's car. <laughs> what yeah. a car. Um, there is a bit of an issue with this. It's just been bought by somebody actually quite famous. Very famous. Yeah. Do you want to have a guess who? Brad Pitt. No, Jeremy. Cameron no. Diaz. No, you're going the wrong way entirely. Let me help you with this, Jeremy. Um, it's Dale Winton, I'm afraid. <laughs> Which Dale means... Winton's a nice chap. No, Jeremy, he's orange. It's uncool. Sorry, there you go. <laughs> well, I'm glad you brought my car up, because I've got one this week I'd like to share with you all. The least cool car that I've seen in a long time, 1982 Porsche 911 SC. Uh, Particularly if somebody's written Carrera on the back and fitted a turbo body kit. That, that Reminds you of anything? It really is your car, and it's hideous. So it's going <laughs> here. And it's left-hand drive, which means you're a cheapskate. And the thing is... <laughs> So true. He's never overtaken anyone. Is it, yeah. is it safe? Is it That's safe? That's what passengers are for. And he's dog at it. Yes. <laughs> but there we go. I perhaps haven't explained how the cool thing works. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with build quality. Absolutely nothing to do with it. All looks, or anything, or how they are to drive. All that matters is are they cool. And the way you can judge it is this, OK? You've got to take Kristen Scott Thomas out for dinner. Cool girl, yes? We all have never heard of her, have you? Anyway, she's the coolest actress there is. You turn up in something like that, Ferrari 360, she's going to think you're a burk. <laughs> you turn up in that, she's going to leave her husband. <laughs> That's how cool works. Um, the Ferrari Enzo. Mm. There's been three of these sold in this country so far, and I think I'm right in saying all of them to rock stars. Is that True right? enough. Yeah, no, Eric Clapton, we think, has one. We yes. know JK has got one. Yes. And the drummer of Pink Floyd is getting one. But the funny thing is, even with the rock star effect, yes. it's still not a cool car. What do we think? It's cool. trying too hard. Hold on a minute. Why is the Ferrari Enzo cool? It's got everything that the McLaren F1 was 10 years ago. They're, they're trying to replicate it, and I think for that, it's cool. I was nodding off in the middle of that explanation. <laughs> You see, where they're going wrong is this. It's screaming The Kristen Scott Thomas test. Precisely. Here she is, OK, look. Her, if you pull up to take her out in a Ferrari Enzo, she'll say, no, do you mind if we go in my husband's Renault Laguna? <laughs> so that leaves us with the smart car. Anyone got any thoughts? Sub -zero. Oh, yes. Hold on a minute, we think what? Sub-zero. Sub-zero, why? It's, it's the coolest car here. The, the smarters? Easily. Good man. Where is he going? Uncle. Uncle? Sub-zero. Sub-zero. You're right, you're wrong. I'm always <laughs> right. It's going there, cos I know everything. Always right? Yeah. Know everything? Yeah. Last series, you put the Renault Avant time. In fact, it's still there. Sub-zero, there it is. In fact, it's... as far as you can go. How many did you think they sold? Millions. Well, I'm gonna, a benchmark, the Ford Focus last year, they sold over 12 months, 150,000. Now, all right, that is a big volume car. Lots of people buy them. It won't be that big a number. How many Renault Avant time do you think they sold? Give me some numbers. Seven. Be sensible. It's a car. It has millions of pounds to develop. Twelve. Two thousand. Two thousand. Two thousand. So between Jeremy? two and ten. Well, I don't know, uh, 1,500. I'll tell you how many they sold. 263. <laughs> but, bear in mind, they have 70 dealers who can sell those things. Now, assuming they would all have had one to put in the showroom, so knock 70 off. I make that 193.
That's so disastrous, they've stopped making it, Jeremy. So that, I think, shows... So it's gone. It doesn't even exist anymore. It's gone from our board. Yeah. No! Sorry. <laughs> and then, finally, the Renault oh, no, Aventime. No, no. If you're going to start going on about that, you're not going to... Jeremy. <laughs> that is ridiculous! <laughs> Sub-zero, beyond the Mini, the Land Rover Defender and even the Vanquish. That's the coolest car money can buy. Don't argue. <laughs> Ferrari 575. Sub-zero. Sub no, that's... <laughs> Who's put this? <laughs> Who's put a Porsche Boxster in the Sub-zero? <laughs> it's you, isn't it? <laughs> it's you because you've got one. This is such a cool car. I, I had one. You had that in Uncool. It is. Mm. You can't put that in. <laughs> <laughs> no, you see, I had one last week. Boxster S, new car. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, the most beautifully balanced. But you look like a prat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that bad. It's not that bad, really. Don't put the N3 in cool. I can't. I've gone with you on most of this. Will somebody please back me up on the M3, please? We'll have a if vote think... on the M3. Forget what it's like to drive. Hands <laughs> up if done. you think it's cool. Hands I've... up if you think it's uncool. Precisely, that's more for cool I win, thank you. <laughs> yes, but this isn't a democracy, this is top. <laughs> now... It's a lose-lose. You're going to lose. I've got one last one here, also driven today. The Peugeot Tour 6 GTI 180 brake horse. What do we think? It's a great little car. It's not uncool, you blit. Who said uncool? <laughs> Why is it uncool? It's a Peugeot. What's that got to do with uncool? <laughs> it's, it's ugly. It's just not right, is it? That's nothing to do with coolness. Does anyone here think it is cool? Right, I do, and I'm going to explain why. It's a hot hatchback, OK? And hot hatchbacks are cool because they're small, they're easy to run, they're easy to park. Then, when you're in the mood, and I had one of these a couple of weeks ago, came down here, drove it in second gear all the way, made me feel 18. <laughs> all of which is good. Yes. And they are really good cars. But I'm just, I just want to say this. OK, everybody else thinks it's uncool, you think it's cool. Casting vote here. I reckon... Apply your own test, Clarks. You made it up the Christine Scott Thomas test. You yes. pitch up outside her Parisian apartment in that. She'll get in it. No, she'll get in the diesel one of the bloke behind you, I reckon. I think it's uncool. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's uncool. Oh, my God! <laughs> I've got um, the new Audi A3, which... No, that's uncool. Hold on a minute. There's a man here I happen to know has an A3. <laughs> <laughs> They're well, wonderful cars to drive. You've got a beard. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, if you're going to have an Audi, buy an Audi, not a VW Golf that looks like an Audi. That, I, I'm sorry, I believe that to be an uncool car. No, it isn't. It's, it's a cool uncool. car. No, I'm sorry, I know he's got a beard. He's got the, I think that's a cool car. That is so wrong. No, it isn't. It's cool. And if you oh, want to no. do something about <laughs> it... <laughs> I like a reasoned debate. Now, I think that's pretty much cut. Actually, no, I think I'm going to put this alpha up here. No. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, it's just escalating it. That's just silly. No, I'll let you have that one. <laughs> I've got a list here of the people who are driving this car. Not a made-up list, this is for real. Cameron Diaz has one of these cars. Leonardo DiCaprio. Donny Osman, we'll skip over that. Alicia Silverstone, Jane Fonda, Jeff Goldblum, Billy Joel, move over that one. Ted Danson, Dennis Weaver, David Duchovny, John Kettley. The list goes on and on forever. And yet, despite that, despite the incredible patronage, I don't know, where do we put it? Uncool. uncool? I'm thinking not uncool. I'm thinking not even seriously uncool. I'm thinking further down here. I'm thinking way out of the lit part of the basin in the deep, dark recesses of hell. 